Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Alright, so we are back with the Dreamer family today. And oh my goodness, y'all, the last time we played the Dreamer family, it was heartbreaking. It was heart-wrenching. And if you do not know what I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to link it down below because it's been a few weeks before I took a little break. But you need to watch it to understand how heartbreaking it was. But I left y'all on a cliffhanger. Basically, the Christmas tree, we left the lights on all day long all night apparently did not know that was a fire hazard in the sims 2 and it caught the house on fire darren was home alone while cassandra was at work and thankfully thank goodness damon was upstairs sleeping and darren obviously could not get to the phone he was freaking out we couldn't call a firefighter to come help us he tried to you know make the fire go away and um he ended up catching fire and I did not know what to do I had two options I could have saved or I could have quit the game without saving I think which you might not even be able to do that there's a fire on the lot like kind of how that happens in the sims 4 but I decided to just let it be I knew he was going to die. There was nothing I could do to save him. I tried. Literally everything in our living room caught fire. Uh, he just basically risked his life to save his son. Just tried to maintain the fire. Uh, Cassandra got the call and she came home from work. And it's been a, a few weeks since the passing. We've had to obviously <sighs> repurchase some furniture because it burnt our whole house up pretty much. This whole area was just torched we have been struggling to say that she is mourning is the least i mean an, an understatement like, I'm, i don't even have the words to explain how heartbroken she is she didn't even get to tell him she was pregnant and she is pregnant y'all and they wanted another child he wanted one so bad he didn't even find out the news before he passed that he was going to be a dad and so cassandra has the day off work today um i'm not really sure when she is going to be um, uh, popping, but I, I, I don't know really what trimester she's in, but I'm assuming it's going to be within the next day or so. We have been trying so hard to be a good mom <laughs> and take care of Damon. We don't want him to grow up badly. That was just the notification that he ages up tomorrow at 6 p.m. She has been tired, okay? Look at her energy, okay? Does, does that tell you anything? You know, in The Sims 2, it sucks when your Sims get pregnant because their needs are just decay so fast it's so hard to keep up with them especially when you have a toddler that you are trying to take care of so thankfully he just learned how to potty so we have to teach him his skills he doesn't know any skills he doesn't know how to walk he doesn't know how to talk and cassandra absolutely does not want her child to grow up badly so i think we're going to take the day off tomorrow i'm pretty sure we're due to go to work but we are going to take the day off because it is his birthday and I want to make sure that I get his skills taught at least one more. I don't want the poor kid to grow up badly. I mean, he always has these little meltdowns with the little gravestone thought bubble about his dad dying. And it's so freaking sad. He was here alone upstairs crying, just trying to get to his dad. And uh, it was heartbreaking. Oh, so heartbreaking. Um, so I'm sorry if some of you are kind of mad at me for killing Darren. I didn't mean to, honestly. I had no idea that the, the, the Christmas tree was a fire hazard, but turns out it is. So I deleted it. <laughs> it's still winter. We could still celebrate Christmas, but obviously she is traumatized. But we'll probably never have another Christmas tree again in this family. She also debated whether or not she wanted to even stay in this house because of what happened. Like, she's heartbroken by it, like, honestly. Um, but we decided, and you guys may disagree with me if you do, please let me know. But she decided to stay in this house because this was an accomplishment that they accomplished together. Purchasing this house and making it a home for their family that they're starting. So... Yeah, she's going to stay here. Like I said, she repurchased some furniture. She had to have a maid come and help her clean up because, like I said, with her being pregnant and her needs, it was a hot mess trying to clean, trying to take care of a toddler. Ugh, it was a hot mess. But thankfully, I mean, toddlers in The Sims 
two y'all are a handful they are so hard to deal with i think it's just hard to do much of anything in the sims 2 but don't get me wrong love the sims 2 but the needs decay so much quicker than any other generation of this game that i mean in my opinion so it's really hard to take care of big families um so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for him to age up. But like I said, I really want to make sure he ages up well. So, yeah, we're going to save that. Um, and hopefully we can accomplish that. But anyways, I'm going to let Cassandra catch up on her sleep a little bit. And then we're going to wake up and just kind of spend the day trying to move on. And, you know, be there for our son and his birthday. And just, just try to make it. We're just trying to make it, you guys. Alright, so I know it's midnight, but Damon and Cassandra's sleep schedule is all out of order, all jacked up. So they are never sleepy at the same time. And so I've had him kind of chilling in the crib, but his 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 needs are starting to go down a little bit. So since hers was up, I went ahead and got her up and I'm gonna have her take a shower. We do need to call a repairman to come repair that tub for us because it's constantly having our environment go down which is stressing us out and then we're going to come over here and try to get his needs up so hopefully fingers crossed the time we get his needs up we will be able to teach him how to talk or teach him how to walk before six o'clock like we don't have much time but i can guarantee you it's not going to get done i will be shocked if i can get all of his skills taught to him because like i said I mean, by the time I teach one, she's going to be sleepy again. I mean, it's just, it's a hot mess. Or she might even go into labor. Who knows? Seriously, this is so frustrating because she's hungry. If I delay her eating any longer, her being pregnant, she's probably going to starve to death. I have him up here using the potty since that's something he knows how to do on his own. By the time she gets up there with his bottle because he's hungry, he's going to be ready for a freaking nap. His hygiene is also down. How in the world am I going to teach this kid all of his skills? I don't know, but it's a problem, you guys. I'm stressing. Also, if anybody knows how to fix this or what this deal is, please let me know. And maybe because of the cheat I'm using, I'm using the bull prop um, cheat where you... Um, make it false like it's what is a bull prop snap objects to grid false because in the sims 2 everything snaps to the grid you can't freely move it around unless you put that cheat in um so obviously it was bothering me the couch was off center to the tv and this rug was off centered so i use the cheat with this rug and for some reason with rugs it gives me this glitch so if anybody knows how to help me that'd be great and also i don't think i showed you guys i put Darren's urn over here. Um, she didn't want to bury him in the backyard or anything. She wanted to keep it in the living room. So yeah, he's always with us, which is really sad. Oh great. She is done eating. Let's hurry, hurry, hurry and get a bottle for Damon. We will clean up later. Actually, we had hired a maid, so I'm sure she'll be here in a few hours and she can just clean up for us. I mean, I'm I'm down for that, you know. Aw, Allegra's getting some attention. We have been neglecting our cats so much, you guys. I almost wanted to put her up for adoption, honestly. Um, she was really pissing me off. I was off camera before I started recording. I was trying to get the house cleaned up, trying to get Cassandra to eat. She was starving, and the cat was like, feed me. But I was like, no, we are hungry. Like, I, I, I don't want her to die. You can die, but she can't. <laughs> so she, the, the cat started eating our food. Food, and I was like, I literally called the cat a whore. I was like, you whore. And then I was like, oh my god, I'm calling a freaking virtual cat a whore. I have anger issues. <laughs> but yeah, uh, almost got rid of Allegra. She really kind of ticked me off. But, you know, she's still around. She's begging for attention. But we just can't be bothered right now. Uh, this house is so small. Kind of want to move just for that reason. Like, I, they, can't do, they can't do anything. Look, oh my gosh, she is already sleepy. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. All right, where are you going? Hold up. She's going to clean up. Okay, you can clean up while he eats. What we're going to do is we're going to bathe him. I'm sorry, you guys. This is really just a bunch of gameplay. Oh, I stopped her in her tracks from doing what she was doing. Um, okay, cool. Oh, this is just me trying to function. And for those of you who haven't played The Sims 2, this is how complicated it is. <laughs> This is how complicated it is sometimes. All right, we're going to bathe Damon because his hygiene is down. Oh, my gosh. Stop. Yeah, we're going to bathe him. Oh, jeez. We're not going to be able to get to him. So, come. 
we might be able to. Let's see. We're going to bathe him, put him in his crib, and let him take a nap. And then we're going to take a nap as well because we're due for one. So we're going to nap just for a little bit. And then we're going to wake up and we are going to try to teach him his skills but you if you haven't called on by the time they both wake up they're going to be hungry again all their needs are going to be down and it's like how am i supposed to do this how how i considered having alexander move in but i knew there'd be no point because i mean the kid's about to be age up anyways he may just have to age up badly i'm sorry but i mean he has been traumatized so far in his life i mean his dad died it's really depressing so <sighs> i don't know Okay, so in the middle of me teaching Damon how to walk, she's she's going into labor. I told you. I told you this was going to happen. All right, so the baby's coming. Um, I wonder if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Oh, a cop flown up. Huh? Sibley? Ramletiz? It is another baby boy. Okay, okay, okay. So, we're going to name the baby Darren Jr. I know, right? Sorry, but we are. It's going to be Darren Jr. Because, obviously, in honor of Darren, um, he never got to meet his dad. Darren never even got to find out he was going to be another father or father to another baby. So, Darren Jr., welcome to the family. Not really sure if Darren Jr. has any needs right now, but we don't care. We do care. I don't mean that. We do care, but we're go we're trying to teach Damon how to walk. Hey, Lucy, make yourself useful. Like, if you want to attend to the baby while you're cleaning, that'd be cool. I mean, <laughs> we need all the help that we can get. At least we're not pregnant anymore, so our needs aren't going to be decaying as fastly. But as you can see, we're already struggling. And we have quite a bit to go until uh yeah <laughs> he learns how to walk and I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's all we're going to get done is teaching him how to walk not really sure if him not learning how to talk um will make him grow up badly that would suck if it was just one trait keeping him from growing up well but what does this fear say I get caught cheating oh but like okay i don't even want to talk about it it's so sad okay um anyways yeah so the baby is actually growing up so we're going to make sure we have a cake and everything uh, for damon and then i want to make sure we invite dirk over for the birthday party it's not going to be like a big party anyways because in the sims 2 you can only invite over um like two sims to a party so i'm probably not even going to make it a party we're probably just going to invite him over and then have him age up while he's visiting just so we don't have a crappy party and it makes us depressed so anyways yeah i'm going to continue to let her teach him how to walk and then we will pick back up once i'm ready to throw this little birthday shindig so i just invited over dirk and alexander i hope they both come they said they were i want them both to be here uh, because we don't see alexander a lot and they've both been like dealing with a lot lately um they should be like leaning on each other in this time but they haven't i also have bought the cake and i'm having her make some chili con corn right now but um our guests are here which they're not gonna obviously just like come in like they do in the sims 4 after you invite them over so um, do not put that in the oven, okay, I was about to say, let's, n let's not catch the house on fire and you die, I mean, I'm traumatized, so we're going to invite them in, and then we're gonna, oh my gosh, our needs, we are freaking struggling, do you hear me, but I want her to, okay, since everybody's here, um, oh gosh, okay, real quick, this is so stressful, I need help, I need help, I need help, Oh, okay. That's why I can't do nothing because I'm on a child. Okay, we're going to change Darren Jr.'s um, diaper real quick. Yeah, come on in. That's great. Ha ha. So good to see you, bro. But, like, dude, I've got a lot of stuff to do right now. Um, and then we're going to have, okay, Allegra. <laughs> if, you, if you can appear and eat this cake, I'm going to be a one-pissed mama. <laughs> and I'm going to sell you. Like, I'm going to, like, kick you out. Yeah, probably not even sell you. I'm just going to drop you off somewhere. That's terrible. I'm not I'm not like that with pets in real life, you guys, honestly. This is just Sims and it's aggravating. But 
Ah, <sighs> okay, y'all. I'm just stressed out. This this has stressed me out. Okay, bear with me. A lot going on. Okay, I know you're tired, but we only have one crib. Can you stay awake for like two seconds? Cause I promise. I promise. After I after I feed this baby or change it. Okay, I'm so confused. After I get done changing his diaper, I'm gonna put him in the crib, and then guess what? We're gonna age you up, and then you can go sleep in the big boy bed. How about that? Do not. What are you doing? Okay, you gotta pee. That's fine. I think we made it, so hopefully everybody comes over here and we can celebrate his birthday. Oh, this is like one less stressful thing off my list, having one less kid to deal with. Like, kids can usually handle their own self pretty much, so that's great. Alright, so Damon has grown up and he is so handsome. He looks just like his dad. That is, that is honestly so freaking depressing. Oh, but anyways, it looks like uh, he grew up well. All right, so that's good. At least we accomplished something. We are struggling. Oh my god, we're on a struggle bus. Let's try to resume cooking real quick. Um, Damon is like, yo, I'm freaking tired. It's my birthday. He partied. He partied himself out. You hear me? Um, I wish these two would be like a little bit of help. But unfortunately, they're guests. So, I mean, they're just going to eat the cake and not cook or clean or help. But yeah, we're struggling, you guys. The struggle bus is real for the freaking dreamer family. <gasps> I am kind of appalled right now. Cassandra wants to get married again. So soon. And she wants to have another baby. Okay, you possibly, possibly, I could see you um, getting married again in the future, but the baby thing is not happening. You're, you're, you're getting too old. Mm -mm, not happening. I'm done. We are done, Cassandra. We're done with the children. You, you have your little family. Um, I'm not really sure why she wants to get married. Who does she want to get married to? I mean, she's not in a relationship with anybody, but honestly, I think Cassandra is just, she's, she's like that. And it's not a bad thing to want to be married, but she, it's not that she didn't love Darren. Obviously, she did, but she doesn't want to be alone for the rest of her life. So, I mean, I don't want her to be alone for the rest of her life either, but at the same time, um, you know, I, I don't want her to, to move on so quickly, you know. Okay, so I'm honestly outdone with this part. Um, looks like Alexander is helping with the baby though so that's really good because we couldn't do it i mean we're exhausted we was about to pass out oh i love how damon is sleeping with mommy instead of sleeping in his big boy bed he's just like mom i just want to be with you that's so sweet but i'm thankful for dark and i'm thankful for alexander who who is outside what is going on here what wait what what's going on what is that oh it's this dog <laughs> Like, what's going on? Is it, is it Darren? Is he haunting us? Um, but anyways, I haven't seen his ghost yet, which is good because that'll probably just depress me. But anyways, guys, um, I'm kind of outdone with this part here. I'm just stressed out. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, we're just trying to move on in the Dreamer family. And, you know... We're going to get by. We're going to make it, you guys. We're going to make it. I mean, she has Damon and she has Darren Jr., which are just spitting images of her husband, who she obviously misses so much, and I hate this had to happen. But we're going to make it. We're going to make it. And also, once again, if you know what the deal is with this glitch, help me. So I'm going to go ahead and go now because, like, I'm done. <laughs> So anyways, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I got this picture in my closet. It's gathering dust right now. And the edges have been folded once or twice. Doesn't look the same no more Cause the sun has made it pale I used to have it hanging on my wall Some time ago